Hey astrology lovers, it's your astrologer Julia Mikas with my life partner Luna and we're going to tell you what the stars are saying for January. I'm putting out short but sweet horoscopes every month so subscribe to my channel so that you can get the latest celestial news for your sign. So it's a new year and it's going to feel like someone hit the cosmic reset button on this damn world. There's a new moon on the 13th which is going to bring out the control freak in all of us because it's tightly conjoined Pluto, the planet of power tripping, and it's also in the imperialist sign of Capricorn. Ambitions are going to be running high, but just remember that your ego is not your amigo. Now Pluto tends to bring out our ego like no other planet. He's kind of like the Napoleon of the Zodiac. He might be small in size compared to the other guys, yet he still wants to take over everything. Now during this lunation, you might be motivated to start something new, but you also might not want other people to know what you've been working on. This new moon favors covert ambition, and it would be a great time to do any research that you need to, like deep diving for something at work or in your personal life. Just don't let yourself go all Machiavellian unless the means end up justifying themselves. Then on the 28th, we have a brilliant full moon in Leo, where we're going to be feeling ardent and generous in our relationships. Now this is a pretty lucky full moon because Jupiter, the planet of blessings, is Kazemi the Sun, meaning that it's less than 17 minutes from the Sun's center. Kazemi is a term which was bastardized from the original Arabic, and it roughly translates as in the heart of. So this means that any planet which is so close to an exact conjunction with the Sun is literally in the heart of the Sun. Now this condition gives the planet it loads of strength, kind of like how a royal council is going to have power because they're so close to the king. Now when Jupiter pops out of the other side of the sun, you might get a sudden piece of luck or a bit of good news, so no one's going to be complaining about that. Now a spontaneous Mars-Uranus conjunction squares the full moon axis, so you might be impulsive in your generosity or may have a strong urge to make a personal impact on those around you. Just make sure you've got a receptive audience before you do your whole song and dance. Then on the very, very last day of January, Mercury goes retrograde at 26 degrees Aquarius, where it's going to do its cosmic moonwalk for most of February. So hit the subscribe button so you'll know how this next Mercury retrograde is going to affect you. Hey there Gemini! So Mars, the planet of drive, enters your 12th house of solitude on the 7th. You may not feel like being a team player during this cycle and prefer to do your professional and personal work on your own. This can be an annoying time where you might feel like you're not getting the credit that you deserve at work and you're forced to kind of hide your light under the proverbial bushel. Now since Mars is our anger, you're more prone to being passive aggressive and indirectly bitchy. And yes, you're probably being way more obvious than you think you are. So Mercury, the planet of thinking, starts the month in your 8th house of investigation. Your mind might be more probing and paranoid than usual because you're digging deeper and reading in between the lines on everything. It's a great time for research as well as financial planning. Then the planet of mind jumps into the ninth house of philosophy and worldview. Now this is an awesome time to learn something new that's going to expand your horizons and it's a really good transit for those who are in school. So Venus, the love planet, starts the month in her favorite house which is the seventh. If you're in a relationship then you guys are going to get Get extra squishy with one another because Venus brings harmony and pleasure wherever she goes. Now if you're single, then you'll get a little extra dating luck on whatever dating app or half dozen of them you happen to be on. Then on the 9th, Venus goes into the dark side known as the 8th house. You might go through an intense time with your partner which actually ends up bringing you two closer together. This is also the house of social taboos so you might be feeling extra frisky, freaky and kinky too. Thanks for watching! Luna and I are putting out short but sweet horoscopes every month, so subscribe to get the latest cosmic news for your sign. Bye bye!